Hello. Hi, how are you? Good thing I don't have anything in my teeth. I just ate dinner a little bit ago. Okay. Um, <laughs> so today I've been making samples of the pet line because it's summertime and I want my customers to purchase more of the pet line. So what's a great way to be able to get that to happen? That's to give samples of what you're looking for them to purchase. So um, I made up these little bags. I'm calling them my bark bags. So what I have done, and I will share the links because I get everything on the Amazons, okay? So um, I got these little one ounce bottles. And this is the best bud suds in the cherry blossom and mango. Okay. So that's there. You see, I didn't even fill up the whole thing. It is a one ounce container, but I didn't even fill the whole thing up. Um, but because I am sending things out and I want people to know what's in them, ingredients. Okay. So um, people just like with their, with their people, they want their pets also to know what they're using. Okay. So it's very important that you put that information on there. Um, so if you don't want to make a whole bunch of stickers, if you don't want to do this, that is perfectly fine. You can go into the, um, consultant store through the workstation and they already have pet samples made up. I believe of just the shampoo. I think it's just the shampoo, but Either way, that will help you if if you're not this crafty and you don't want to have to go to the trouble of doing all of this, okay? So you can still do some pet samples and just buy those from the consultant store, okay? Um, but what I like to do is get paid on, on what I'm buying. So um, I bought a bottle of the pet shampoo and the um, Freshen Up Pup. So I had to try it because of course I need Hero to smell good. So um, I made these guys up. Like I said, put the label in the front. I'm putting them in bags because I'm gonna be mailing them or um, dropping them off. And just for whatever reason, the cap comes loose, the lid gets loose, whatever. I just didn't want it making a mess. Plus it gave me an excuse to have space to put a label on the back of the bag. Okay, so there's those. And then I took the Freshen Up Pup Spray, and I did the same kind of label, okay? So again, it's in the Cherry Blossom and Mango. This is the Dog Deodorizing Spray. On the back is where I put those ingredients. So again, the same thing. All I do is I just go to my workstation, or actually I go to my website, and I copy and paste the ingredients. That's how I get all of the ingredients, okay? So uh, that's all you have to do, and then just paste it into whatever program you're using to create your labels. So, and you can tell I didn't fill these all the way up. Um, these are actually two ounce size bottles. I thought I was buying one ounce, but I didn't. So, um, but that's a lot, right? That's, this is just the freshen up pup. Okay. So this is like the deodorizer. So I'm just giving them samples. I'm not giving them the whole thing to try, right? Okay. Um, and I felt that these were pretty well good because they're that nice screw on cap. Plus they've got this and the only way, um, something were to happen is if the whole thing breaks and then, well, I don't know what to do. Um, so I thought that those were probably okay on their own. And then at my local grocery store, now here's the thing, um, these are for dogs. Um, I was just going to get just a box of dog bones. My dog doesn't eat dog bones. He's bougie. Um, so I was going to just get a box of dog bones. But then I thought, well, people are going to want to know what kind of dog bones they are or what do they have in them. And, you know, like all the ingredients. Same thing with the skin, right? They want to know. Um, because some people are very you know, or their animals have allergies or what have you, right? Like, I don't want to be, I can't, I can't carry that on my conscience. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. I die of guilt. Okay. So, um, I couldn't find at the grocery store, any bags of dog treats or dog bones that were like individually packaged. Now I could have just bought a box of milk bones and then typed out the ingredients and could have done the whole thing not trying to work harder. Okay. So I did find these little bags. They're just the little, um, fun size bags of the Beggin strips. So if, if you know dogs and you know, hero loves these, the big version, these are like little teeny tinies. Okay. 
Um, but they were perfect because, of course, right, they're already in their own little package. They have all the nutritional ingredient information, everything that they are going to want to know, right? So that's why I was like, oh, these are awesome. Now, I did get these. They were like 99 cents at the store. I have not yet looked on Amazon, so it might be cheaper on the Amazons. I don't know. Um, or maybe even at Costco or at Sam's Club, if you shop at any one of those, you might be able to find these. Um, this is honestly the first time I've ever looked for dog treats in single serving packages. So um, I just grabbed a handful of those to get started. And so what I did is I got my bags. These are just six by nine bags. Okay, same bags I use for quite literally everything else in my business. Okay. Um, so they get, I don't want to put this in my mat. Okay. They get the, uh, sample of the Freshen Up Pup. They get a sample of the Suds. Okay. Stay. Um, they get a thank you card because everybody gets a little thank you card from me and it has my info and my contact info on the back as well. And I put little mini nail files in mine. It's just bougie. Um, I always put in, if I don't put in a business card, I usually kind of just reference these. These are just, um, I printed these on cardstock. I think it's um, two by two size, two by two squares. Um, I use like the Avery template for two by two. I made my QR code and I put shop now. And then I just take my paper cutter and I cut them into squares. And so like, I literally have a whole stack of these. So instead of having to use my business cards all the time, I will just throw these into packages. So it's really easy for my customers to just see that. And I don't run out of business cards that quick. Um, of course, you know, the, the bag and strips. And then <clears throat> I also put in um, my Scentsy Club flyer, right? Because I think the pet shampoo and products are really great because if they are somebody who, you know, especially in the, in the spring and the summertime, right? They're probably going to be out washing the dogs if they have multiples, whatever. Um, they may want to get this like once every three months. And so when they see that they can get a discount, right? Because I've just put the perks on here of Scentsy Club again, right from the workstation. Um, and then they can add that to their Scentsy Club. So they'll never be without that as well. And then of course, I just added some fun little paw print stickers to the front because who doesn't love stickers? <laughs> okay, so um, how I did this is, oh, I'm gonna put those in first. Um, how I did this is I actually went into my VIP club, which is just where my customers live, right? I don't have consultants in there. But what I did is I did a quick little poll in there and asked who has who has dogs or who's a dog parent or you know who's got a four-legged friend whatever it was um and so those everybody that's in there pretty much i believe everybody that's in there has ordered from me at least once so i should have their information and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with my vips so my fruit my more frequent customers they're going to get these guys first um and I'm just gonna send these out. So, so far I've got, uh, well, this one, and then two, four, six, eight. So I did 10 total, 10 total. I'm not gonna send all 10 out. I don't even think I had 10 people that said yes to this already in the poll. I wanna say there's like six that answered yes. Um, so I'm just gonna start out with six. I still have these made up, right? So if I have leftovers, well then by any means, right? The next time I do some happy mail or if I send out some Scentsy Club, um, maybe the, I'll start working that into my job forms, right? Do you have any pets? Do you have a dog? Those kind of things. And so um, the ones that I do know that have dogs because we're friends and I follow them and we build relationships on Facebook, um, I already know that they have dogs. So when I do their next happy mail, I'll have these ready to go. Um, I will also say that for these samples, it was actually, um, these, these containers were like awesome. Uh, I got 30 pieces. Again, they're one, one ounce. Got them on the Amazons. I'll put the link below afterwards. Um, but you guys, if you have been looking for anything to use for dish soap, okay, um, I normally do my dish soap, which I don't have any made. I've just got the, I have to make those up. I usually use these compressed sponges and then I put it on there 
um, and then put it in a bag. And that's how I do my dish soap. I think I'm probably going to switch to these for a little while, honestly. Um, again, just like I did with the dog shampoo, the pet shampoo, right? I didn't fill it all the way up. I only filled it about halfway. I mean, they just need to wash a dog, okay? Same thing with their dishes, right? If you guys have confetti, it's everywhere. Um, if you guys have never used our dish soap, please do. But I will tell you, our dish soap foams up amazingly. And honestly, it only takes like one or two squirts and you can do a whole like sink load of dishes, okay? So they're not gonna need a whole lot. That's why my samples on those compressed sponges go really well. For one, they're flat and they mail better. But if I'm gonna be doing bigger happy mail or maybe it's a thank you for a host or something like that, right? I can probably use the dish soap in these. Again, just make up a new label pop it on there. Um, these labels, by the way, are the one and two thirds. They're these, but actually they're the, they're the one and two thirds because I used the last of them. Oh, sorry. It's over here now. It's in the trash because I just reordered it off Amazon. So they're Avery labels, five, two, nine, three. They're one and two third white circles. Okay. You don't have to use Avery labels. It's just, it's for me, this is how I print everything. I make the design and then I upload it into Avery, find my template and put the paper in my printer. Boom. And I have no problems. So if you're looking for an easy way to print, I recommend Avery. Um, you can get them on the Amazons. You can get them at any store like Walmart, Wally World, whatever. Um, and you can find them there as well. So those are all the stickers I use. Um, anyway, these will be great for dish soap samples. They also will probably be really great if you are wanting to make maybe some body samples, okay? So maybe you're wanting to do the body wash. Maybe you're wanting to do um, hand cream, body cream, whatever, right? You can use these because they're nice to be able to have that nice hole to pour into. Um, mine actually came, well, they're over there on my sample table now. Um, they actually came with little funnels. So that made it a lot easier as well to pour into these. Um, but I mean, honestly, these, are, these little guys are great. I'm going to use these probably for a lot more than, than just these. Uh, but I thought that was a good deal. Um, the bottles are just spray. These are two ounce spray bottles. Again, Amazon's, I'll put it in the link there. But so now I've got more things that I can sample with and get those out the door. But in the meantime, I'm going to be focusing. So if you are working on our current incentive and you want to kind of work on, maybe it's closing the body samples, things like that, right? Get yourself something that you can make samples of because when somebody is able to sample it and try it, the more likely they are to buy it, right? So we got to get the, the smell or the product under their noses. So that's why we do samples. That's why we do the wax samples. That's why we do um, dish soap, washer whips, whatever samples, right? We want them to recognize the quality of the products that we, we have. We really do have amazingly quality products. So, um, there's that. All right. So anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I'm calling them my bark bags. I'm probably going to make a little sticker that says, um, licked with love by hero. Um, obviously he didn't really lick the bag, but, uh, yeah, that's probably the stickers that I'm going to make up for it just because I want to have a little fun. And like I said, I'm just sending these out to my, my VIP who said that they had dogs. Um, and they've ordered from me before. So hopefully that helps and shares with you guys a little bit different way to do samples than maybe you've tried before. Like I said, I personally have, the only time I've ever sent out pet samples have been from the ones that I ordered from the Sensi Success or the consultant store and sent those out. And I really didn't have anybody like paying any kind of attention. So now that I'm specifically doing what I'm calling a bark bag, I'm hoping to get more attention with that, right? So that's what I'm aiming for. That's the goal. Um, I will be trying these out. And just like with everything else, I usually will give it like a good 90 days of trying something and then I see what happened. Did it work? Did I get more sales? Even if I get two people who order some pet products or the pet bundles, right? 
that's a win in my book. That's two more people who ordered the pet products that didn't before, right? And hopefully they're going to share those on their social media or what have you. And then I can uh, reach more people. Another great idea that we were talking about, we were on the uh, happy hour last night and talking about these. Um, there were some people in there who either are dog groomers or knew some dog groomers and uh, they were talking about leaving some samples with their dog groomer. What a fabulous idea, right? The dog groomers are of course going to be bathing and doing all the things to all the animals, but you know, if you're able to maybe get some samples in there and ask them, you know, hey, would it be okay if I left some samples here with my business cards or um, a brochure or a product list, whatever, you know, maybe they wouldn't mind if you did that and left that on their counter. Or um, what some people have found is that their groomers themselves just fell in love with either the scent or the actual pet shampoo um, and they started buying it so they could have it to wash their animals and pets. So, just ideas of what you can look for. So um, I actually, we've got two neighbors. We've got one that's like one house away. And then we've got, um, well, actually our neighbor right across the street, Tom, that we love, uh, or that my husband's uh, friends with. Um, he's got a little wiener dog. So I probably will make up a little bag for him as well and have Justin take it over there next time that they're uh, that he's outside. So, um, look at your neighbors too, right? Let them know you're the one who sells the Scentsy in the neighborhood, right? So they need to get to know you and these are great ways, right? So one of the ways, like I said, I'm going to walk down to my neighbor's house or next time I see him out, I'm going to be like, Hey, I know your, your dog is so cute. And I wanted you to try these products. It's just a sample. Um, if they like it, great. If they like it and buy, even better, okay? So, um, there we go. That's how I'm working today. It is Monday. It is also my um, uh, my personal development day. So, um, after, after the house is quiet is when I will actually sit down and I watch at least one to two YouTube videos. So, I'm going to find a couple videos to watch. Um, if you missed, also, oh, let me... Throw in a shameless plug for the three amigas in our three amigas group active in April. Um, if you guys are not in that group yet, that is myself. That is Cassie Baker. That is uh, Amber Dixon. And we are the three amigas. And um, we usually go live every Thursday. Um, we go live in that group. But this group in particular for April is active in April. So every single day we are having a guest speaker. Every single day we are giving you tips actionable items. That's the whole thing. Actionable items, right? IPAs, things that you can take action on. Um, we had Cher Flores share today and she was absolutely amazing. I think I found my new BFF. Um, she was absolutely amazing. So if you are not yet in the Three Amigas group, I would highly suggest that you go and join the Three Amigas group because we have so much good content. And even after Active in April, I'm sure we'll keep it going because, you know, we're the Three Amigas. So we'll probably keep going in there, but that content also will stay in there. So if you want content to go back on and train yourself on, then that is going to be a really good resource for you to be able to do. So hope that helps. I love you all. Keep working hard. Um, today we had the Batman product launch with the mini warmer. The Justice League DC uh, scent is back. Remember, they it officially launched today, so they've got 30 days from today, so until May 11th, to be able to add that to a Scentsy Club. After that, they're just SOL, okay? Um, and trust me, they're going to love it, by the way. It's a very manly scent, musky. I love it. Love it. It is personally in my club. Um, and we have the full-size Batman warmer that came out, and we also have the Chase Rainbows Wax Collection, which I actually, I cannot believe that I haven't, I have a couple more mail outs to do uh, for the month, but last month I did a whole bunch of mail outs. So I actually have like three of these little packets left uh, with the uh, Rainbow Wax Collection. So I'm gonna be throwing those three into the next three happy mail bags that I'm doing uh, for my customers. So actually I had two, Actually, I had two uh, Scentsy Clubs process, so guess what they're getting? Yep, yep, Scentsy Club people, they get my VIP treatment. All right, so anyway, um, 
there we go. That That's it. I hope that helps helps to give you guys a little bit of inspiration. If you have questions, then drop them below, and I'll be more than happy to come back and answer them. But find ways to get those samples out, guys.